What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 4 video here on the channel. This one in particular, we're just going to be doing exactly what we've been doing and continuing on with the main storyline. I believe we're on reunions, which if I'm completely honest, it's probably in base game, it's probably my most hated uh, mission in the game. Uh, I just think it does, doesn't fit, doesn't stick in. There's one, another one in uh, Far Harbor DLC that I also don't like that's kind of similar to this one. Uh, that I also really don't like, but yeah, there's that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just get on with it. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Alright, so I think, uh, okay, so we're on reunions. Now we gotta go discuss your findings with Piper. Where is Piper? Okay, she's already back in Diamond City, so that makes it super perfect for us right now let's go ahead and uh handle some business i don't know why i really do like the uh like heavy metal armor but the only problem with it is that it's really good with uh like damage resistance but it's not very good with the energy resistance like at all almost It's actually kind of, kind of sucks in that department. All right, let's go. All right, Piper is in here. Aw, oh, Nat's all sad. Any minute now. Any minute now. I swear, the loading screens in Fallout 4 is atrocious. I've said it, I've said it a lot in this Let's Play, to be honest, but it's okay. I still feel that way. It's actually very true. The loading screens in Fallout 4 are absolutely atrocious. Hello. Whoops. Nikki Valentine walks into my office. Nikki! What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, kind of. You two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? <coughs> Excuse me? Um, where do I begin? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creatures. Her eyes are really nice, now. actually. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day. There's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. I say yeah. they're south. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Yeah, um... He's dead. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment <coughs> I saw him. Excuse me? So... A um, murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Yep. Sums it up. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Um. So what now? So what now? Gets his brains blown out. His <laughs> brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Just a tad bit. Vault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Uh, who's this Dr. Amari? Who's this Dr. Amari? 
I'll just give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We've got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Um, well, actually, I might already have something that I took off his body. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Yay! Whether riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? Come with me, Piper. Have a memory, Dan. Either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari, but if you want to head there together, just say so. Uh, I'll take Piper. I'll head out with Piper, so I could what double dip do? on. Uh, Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. Companion affinity. We're gonna get your boy back. Few more steps. Oh, so it's not reunions. That's the one that I hate. It's the one immediately following this one. I mean, I'm gonna see it right now, but I don't remember what it's called. It's the one with Dr. Amari. I really hate this freaking mission. Dangerous Minds. That's the one I don't like. All right. Let's go ahead and just fast travel to good neighbor. Wait, hold on. Have I not met Dr. Amari yet? Mm. Oh, it's over here. No, I haven't even been to Dr. To Dr. I almost said I've never been to Dr. Amari. I've never been to good neighbor yet. All right, so that makes sense. It's not a big deal. Luckily for us, we've been right around that specific area, so we're, we'll be fine. <clears throat> Any minute now. And this area is dangerous, too. Excuse me. OMG. Damn, it took that long for the freaking weapon to just load into the freaking loading screen? That's how you know we're in it for a long wait when even the loading screen takes long to load. I really do like the Cryolator, man. It's such a cool and unique looking weapon. It's not very good, though. Especially. Especially in Fallout 76. The Cryolator in Fallout 76 is... It's pretty useless, to be honest. I mean, to, to be honest, the only thing good about the Cryolator in 76 is just the ability to slow them down. Like the enemies. Other than that, it's pretty... It's pretty trash. Alright, good. Oh god, what is going on? I'm losing frame rates or uh, frames right now. You nice. Let's go. Oh crap, I didn't realize he was legendary. Oh god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Ah! Piper, get in there and kill yourself for me. Show me how much you love me. Oh, I thought I killed him. Oh god, this is going bad. Come on, die, damn it. Really? And I miss everyone. All right, we got a bad situation here. All right, you are getting nothing but headshots, dude. Who's left? 
the legendary. Give me your leg. I'm hiding. And headshots. Oh shit. Fuck. Okay. It's okay. Finally. Safe crackers combat armor? Nah. Wait, someone's still alive? Ow, that's it. You're dead. Is that it? Thank God, because that was brutal. I'm pretty sure I didn't even have to go this way, to be honest, but... Oh, well. It is what it is. Actually, I know I didn't have to go this way because all I had to do is go over this freaking truck. Oh, well. That was fun, wasn't it? Hello, mongrel. Very nice. Woo! I'm kicking ass. Alright, let's go into good neighbor. Yeah, this mission sucks. Don't like it at all. You guys will see why once we get into the nitty gritty of this mission. It's all good in the neighborhood though. It's only one mission. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? Yep. Can't go walking around without insurance. Uh, how about you back off? You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, well, well, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Piper didn't like that. <laughs> Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. And... Dunskis. Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there. I did, actually. You just gotta make a point sometimes. You alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. I mean, the way you say it kind of sounds like anarchy. Sounds like anarchy. The best kind of anarchy. Embrace it, and maybe one day you'll call this little slice of yeah, like that. home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Yeah, me. Those folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Um, if you say so, Piper. Let's go. And we're finally here. <clears throat> Discovered Neon Flats. Oh, that's the, uh, that's a DLC. I mean, uh, Creation Club thing, I think. I should, I should probably do some of the Creation Club stuff soon, huh? I've been talking about it for like the longest time since we started this let's play and realistically uh, I still haven't done them Mr. Valentine I thought you had forgotten me about the loan may have walked out of the den Irma but I'd never walk out on you damn Amari's downstairs you big bright hold on before I go over there I gotta see something do I have I do have the Silver Shroud outfit. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Damn, man, I hear you. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Good old Kent Connolly. 
The fun fact, he's in uh, Fallout 76 as well, in, in this fun little cameo in, uh, uh, not a holotape, a uh, freaking computer. Uh, yeah, I used to listen before the war. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. Yeah, I'm from the past. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! <laughs> uh, let's try to remember. Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It gives me a little hope. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question <coughs> for you. What if the Excuse Silver me? Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. That's good. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I've heard crazier plans to do it. <laughs> I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Actually, I already have it for you, buddy. As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. Hell yeah. And memorabilia, too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Okay, well, here you go. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Um, I mean, you just gotta believe in yourself, buddy. Come on. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the Cryo Vault and all? Uh, sure, why not? Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Silver Shroud armor reduces damage uh, from humans by 15%. Here's some calling cards, I guess. <clears throat> when you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Nice. So, do I... Did he already give me the gun? Yeah, the Silver Submachine Gun. Doesn't look like anything special, and I think ballistic-wise... Or DPS wise or anything like that, there's nothing different than a regular submachine gun, but the skin is different. So that's pretty cool. What are you doing? There you go. Alright, let me switch camera views, because this camera view. I really don't like the third person view in Fallout games. Yeah. Wait, I know you. You're on the railroad. What's this all about? I mean, you think I'm working on the railroad. Hey, what the hell? Um. I got Kellogg's brain. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Yes. Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Um... <clears throat> Let me see. Can you please help? Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. And so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? As a matter of fact, I do. Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? 
Uh, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm yeah, you. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Um, so does that mean Nick is compatible? Nick's an older model since. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. Whoa, Nick. Are you sure? I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Dang, he's got no fear. Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? I don't pull out, bro. Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Meanwhile, Piper looks like she's very impatient. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Bingo. Uh, you've collected an issue of Robco. Fun includes Grognak, the Barbarian, Hollow Tape. I mean to peruse myself. Can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Um. Uh. Is Nick okay? Is Nick gonna be okay? <clears throat> yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Um, all right, let's do this. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. And here we go. I don't like this part at all. Meanwhile, Piper's just gonna stand there and stare at us the whole time with a huge smile on her face. Look at her. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Yes. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. Okay. Degenerated, but it's there. Cool. To load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Yes, ma'am. Man, that is bright. I'm like halfway ball, uh, blind right now. I almost said bald. What the hell? Blind right now. Can you hear me? Nope. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, fun fact. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Fun fact, you actually don't have to see or listen to any of this. You can just run straight through and be done with this entire part of the mission in like 2 minutes. But I'm going to actually listen to everything for the story. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Okay. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Damn. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, 
I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Damn. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. It's kind of sad. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Maybe. Is there a memory with the radio? People are always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. That's it? Alright, let's go. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. You don't say, Amari. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Let's go. Try that one. Is that me? The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand. That's what happiness felt like. Nice. Sarah that Connor. Was the worst thing that ever happened to her. At least he admits it. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Does that mean she died? You'll see. Is there any more? I don't know anybody here. And now with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing The she? Tough. They sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? <gasps> Gas! This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. Uh oh. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. But Listen to this. me think that a guy like me should have a daughter. I never deserved her. Not for one second. Dang, he's putting himself very vulnerable. Let's keep looking. I'll connect All right. you to the next intact memory. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I failed to defend Outpost Zamonja. Oh well. They don't need my protection anyways. I think I only have like one person there anyways. Uh -oh. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? Gasp! <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like Oh, dogs. no! And you weren't there to help them. Damn. I, found I have no idea what he's doing. Try. I'll connect you. So, Kellogg definitely John Wick the hell out of that room, whatever was over there. I mean, this kind of makes me sympathize for him, but, I mean, let's be real, who cares? It's Kellogg. Mind if we... There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. 
Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. Whatever you say, cereal box. There was always a job for someone like me. Wait, is it the same thing? Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. Alright. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. <clears throat> Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. And then you ended up in the Commonwealth. Let's see what they talk about. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me, <laughs> we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? Damn. Who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek. Dun, dun, dun. We seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Just a little bit. He was a mercenary. Oh, snap. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with Wait. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. <clears throat> Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. I get it. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. Damn. Vengeance. First synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. And kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. Yeah, they creep me out too, so. The first synths weren't all that impressive. Oh, okay, so it's the same thing. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute... You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. Damn! I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. Oh, damn. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Oh, damn! Kellogg's a beast. Hmm. Impressive. <clears throat> we may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these is Kellogg's a monster. We are running out of brain here. <laughs> ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connected. Oh no. Manual override <clears throat> initiated. Cryogenic stasis. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, 
They came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so... This one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Dun dun dun. Of course. Neither did they. Not really. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated, degenerate like me. <laughs> but they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. Is it the same thing? Yeah, there it is. Taking orders from a dirty, contaminated, degenerate like me. Aww. But they needed me. I mean, I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. Damn. And yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, her. You mean Mary? Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Damn. Hey, look, I'm alive. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Damn! He knows they we're coming after him. Out. They won't be able to hide from him for long. Yeah, I really had no problems with you. Or right, taking out, taking you out. Hey, who the hell is this guy? Oh, it's a girl. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Damn! Alright. I think that's everything, so let's see what happens. Are we in the right one already? No. This is the one. Here. Oh no. Open it. Oh no. Okay. Almost. Oh no. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come oh, here. Oh yeah, no. I've got him. Let I'm not giving you, Sean. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you, Sean. God damn. Oh, snap. What's the hold up? Oh. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh... Damn. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. Shut up, Amari. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the kid! Sean! Is that your son? Wasn't my idea this to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond so, City. Good news, I think. I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently but there's no going back I knew it was just temporary it'll be back to normal business before too long of course this whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault timing couldn't have been an accident 
That's not how the old man works. Calculated individual, I see. Not smart at me in the end. Seems like it. Another loose end tied up. Is that it? So I guess that's how you clean guns. Um. Yeah, there's nothing else around here, so. Kellogg. <gasps> Who's this? Okay. Institute Courser. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the Coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just <clears> glad <throat> they were always on my side. Dun dun dun. Just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Oh, no. Left. As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. Gasp! We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. He just took it out of his armpit. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He Damn. was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So That's crazy. I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Uh, yes. I guess so. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Whatever could they be doing? He literally looks like a giant, I mean like a tiny adult. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Oh snap. Oh no, they've been blasted. It does make me feel for him. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there. Some well, way. there is an entrance. It's just unconventional. Finally. Let's get out of here, man. This is so bright. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't like this mission. It's so boring. It's so much just... Walk here, click this, you know? Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Um, I feel fine, I guess? I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good, but I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Yeah. Teleportation. We got what we needed. The Institute uses <clears throat> teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Um. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you can figure it out. But where's Virgil? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea. The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Uh, I mean, it's a perfect hiding spot. That's why he's there. To make the institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Duh, I kind of have to. Uh, anti-radiation. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? 
There are chemical compounds. Radex, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. Or... Uh... Toggle command... Ta uh, T... G M enter. <laughs> I'll find a way. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck and be safe. Yes, ma'am. I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Nice. Yay. You're on good behavior, aren't you? Duh. I try to be at least. I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish <laughs> anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Yeah, I mean... I get it, man. Sounds exhausting. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. You're probably right, to be honest. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh... One day, our dad turns up dead. Gasp! <clears throat> His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought of course he, he did. He paid enough to babysit the town. <clears throat> he was going to leave the gates open one night, let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was going to turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Um... I mean, you saved everybody. Piper, you saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. <coughs> Excuse me. The but hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Nope. You know, she strikes me more of a... Like a, an activist rather than a reporter. Hey, Nicky boy, wait a minute. Nick. Oh, you got what you were looking for inside my head. Wait, what? <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Uh, what? What did you say? What? What are you talking about? Uh, you sounded like Kellogg. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Yes. Uh, Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. Um. You know what? I'll take you, Nick. Only because Piper let's will probably going. die in there. And one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. All right, Piper, you can go back to Covenant. Um. All right, let's go get up, oh, get out of my way. 
let's go ahead. We should probably check Covenant. Actually, I kind of don't want to take Nick. I don't know. I like Nick, but I think I think the Fallout community likes Nick more than I do. Like that's not to say that I dislike Nick at all because I really do like Nick. But I think the Fallout community uh in as a whole likes Nick or holds Nick at a higher uh like value than I do. I personally I don't know, I'm a sarcastic guy. Like my favorite guy is actually uh uh Deacon. Deacon's fucking hilarious. But I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see one of you with whoever this is the other day? Huh? He wishes. <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is Anything to keep an do? eye out for what drives us away. apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, eh, Doc? Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth <clears throat> gonna drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman? Wanna hurt our peaceful community. The Minute Man! The Institute and their sins! I was close. Right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. <laughs> the Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, eh, God. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lot. Stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny, when people are doing things they don't normally do, when family starts pushing you away for no reason, we all know who's behind that kind of shit. Or they might be depressed. The way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Me! I mean, not me. Diamond City! Damn it, I was close. John Travolta! God damn it. I got every question wrong. I'm glad this isn't an actual test. I would have failed. Alright, let's go ahead and fast travel over to... No, not the castle. To Covenant. I love Covenant. It just, the only thing I hate about Covenant though is that the uh, turrets that are already there, they're kind of a pain in the ass, dude, because like if they get destroyed, they're kind of like permanent fixtures. I'm sure you could use console commands, which to be honest, I might actually just do uh, use console commands just to get rid of them because once they blow up, they stay broken and smoking forever. And if it wasn't for those... I think Covenant would be like the perfect place, you know? Has any of them been destroyed? Uh... Honestly, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't think so. Shut up, Deezer. I know there's one back here. No, yeah, I think they're all still good. Good. And I think there's one over here. Yeah, no, we're, we're good to go. This place so far has been pretty well kept. But it kind of sucks though because, like I said, if they get destroyed, they just stay smoking forever. And it's just a pain in the ass. But we're going to go ahead and call it a video right here, right now, guys. In the next video, we're definitely going to be going over to the Glowing Sea and getting our hands on this Virgil individual. But if you enjoyed this video or if you're enjoying the series, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.